Can you picture a world without elevators? Without them, cities as we know them wouldn't be possible. And imagine all the flights of stairs we would have to walk up and down. These amazing machines have become an indispensable part of our lives. The year 2011 marks 154 years since this invention was made public at a trade show in New York City. The key to this creation lay in its unique break, which guaranteed the passenger's safety. Elisha Otis, its inventor, dazzled a crowd of people by cutting the elevator's rope while it moved. They expected the heavy machine to crash to the ground, but instead, it stopped in place. The elevator was born. The first elevators were major novelties, and only the most luxurious buildings had them. The first elevator in London was at the Grosvenor Hotel. It was given the elegant title of the Ascending Room. These elevators moved using hydraulic power, which meant that a shaft equal to the building's height had to be dug into the ground. But with the discovery of electricity, this problem was overcome. By the end of the 19th century, elevators played an essential part in huge building projects, such as the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Elevators also had a big effect on the development of the modern city. Building a 20 or 30 story building was unthinkable in an age when stairs were the only means of going up. But with the rise of elevators, the sky is the limit. At the end of the 19th century, cities around the world were expanding dramatically. Problems of overcrowding were solved by the construction of taller and taller apartment buildings. All of this was made possible by newer and better elevators. In fact, these early skyscrapers were actually known as elevator buildings. This development shaped our concept of the modern city the endless stretches of towering concrete that we associate with the modern city came as a result of the elevator. It may seem dull, but imagine a large city like New York or Paris if there were no buildings taller than 10 stories.